Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 greatest TV shows of all time. These are TV shows that I've personally enjoyed, and I think you will too. So without further, let's get started. <laughs> Number 10, House of Cards. House of Cards is a political thriller that aired on Netflix from 2013 to 2018. It follows the story of Frank Underwood, a ruthless politician who will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. House of Cards is known for its suspenseful plot, its complex characters, and its stellar performances by Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright. The stage, it's all about location, location, location. Number nine, Stranger Things. Stranger Things is a science fiction horror drama that aired on Netflix from 2016 to present. It's set in the 1980s and follows the story of a group of friends who investigate the disappearance of their friend Will only to uncover a dark and dangerous secret. Stranger Things is known for its nostalgic atmosphere, its suspenseful plot, and its well-developed characters. You got this, I promise. Number eight, Sherlock. Sherlock is a British crime drama that aired on BBC One from 2010 to 2017. It's a modern day reimagining of the classic Sherlock Holmes stories and stars Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock Holmes and Martin Freeman as Dr. Watson. Sherlock is known for its fast paced plots, its witty dialogue and its stunning visuals. Yes, he's got on with his life. What life? I've been away. Number seven. Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is a historical crime drama that aired on BBC One from 2013 to 2022. It's set in Birmingham, England in the aftermath of World War I and follows the lives of the Peaky Blinders, a gang of criminal brothers. Peaky Blinders is known for its stylish visuals, its violent action sequences, and its complex characters. Number six, Westworld. Westworld is a science fiction western drama that aired on HBO from 2016 to 2020. It's set in a theme park where guests can interact with lifelike androids. Westworld is known for its complex storylines, its philosophical themes, and its stunning visuals. I wouldn't say that at all. Number 5. The Wire. The Wire is a crime drama that aired on HBO from 2002 to 2008. It's set in Baltimore, Maryland, and follows the lives of police officers, drug dealers, and politicians as they try to solve a murder. The Wire is known for its realistic portrayal of urban life, its complex characters, and its unflinching look at the drug trade. All in the game. <laughs> Number four, The Sopranos. The Sopranos is a crime drama that aired on HBO from 1999 to 2007. It follows the life of Tony Soprano, a New Jersey mobster who is struggling to balance his family life with his criminal activities. The Sopranos is known for its complex characters, its realistic portrayal of organized crime, and its groundbreaking use of voiceover narration. They pull me back in. <laughs> Number three, Game of Thrones. This epic fantasy series transported viewers to the intricate and treacherous world of Westeros. With its sprawling narrative, complex characters, and stunning production values, Game of Thrones captivated audiences worldwide. Despite its controversial final season, the show left an indelible mark on television history. This is about the living and the dead. Number two, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is a drama about a high school chemistry teacher who starts cooking meth to provide for his family after he's diagnosed with cancer. The show is a darkly funny and suspenseful look at the drug trade, and it features some of the most iconic characters in TV history, like Walter White and Jesse Pinkman. This whole thing, all of this, it's all about me. Number one. On our list is the beloved sitcom Friends with its iconic theme song, memorable characters, and hilarious ensemble cast, Friends became a cultural phenomenon. This timeless show explored the ups and downs of friendship, love, and adulthood, leaving viewers laughing and crying throughout its 10 season run. <laughs> so those are my top 10 greatest TV shows of all time. I hope you enjoyed the list and I hope you'll check out some of these films if you haven't seen them already. Thanks for watching.